What you learn in this video could completely transform your relationships. It's one of the things that really helped my husband and I communicate better once we learned this technique. And it's a bit that I put in just about every single talk that I do these days, and many of you asked if I could make a video on it, so here goes. I want you to think about how you respond to stress. Like all of us have some responses to different things in our lives that we don't necessarily have a conscious awareness of. It's just like this automatic thing that we do. And so there's generally two ways that people respond to stress. In one situation, people minimize. And when they minimize, it's kind of like they're shrinking back and they're withdrawing and they're maybe getting pretty quiet and they're kind of like a turtle that's crawling into their shell and they're like, I'm not going out until I feel safe. And then on the other side, we have people that are maximizing. And when you're maximized or what you do when you're in a state of stress, like everyone knows you're in a state of stress, like you're pouncing on people and like you're going after people and you're mad and everybody knows you're mad. And you're like a tiger that has its claws out that's like about to pounce on everybody. Now, both of these things are like adaptation responses. So we learn to become the turtle who minimizes because over a period of time, often in childhood, yes, we're gonna go back to the childhood thing. A lot of times what happens is when we're kids, we're like, maybe we're, imagine that you're kind of like pulling on, you know, mommy's pant leg and you're like, mommy, mommy, mommy. And then mommy kind of ignores you. And eventually you learn, oh, well, I'm just not gonna have needs. And so I'm gonna be quiet when I have needs. And so that's one of the things, this is oversimplifying, of course, but that's one of the things that happens to people that end up being minimizers. And so then we learn to quiet ourselves and to kind of mute ourselves. And then on the other side, the maximizer, oftentimes what might happen when they're a kid is they're like, you know, maybe daddy, 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 and then daddy's like, what? And they're like, oh, okay. So I'm just gonna be like really loud and like maybe overly expressive, and then that's how I'm gonna get what I want. And we can all maybe think of people in our workplaces or in our lives that are tigers that constantly have their claws out. Now, here's the thing. Both, like all of us have a little turtle and a little tiger in us, but we generally have one style that's our predominant style. That's like our go-to stress response. And the important thing to understand is that there is something that each of us needs when we're in either of these states in order to like chill out or in order to kind of like come out. What the turtle needs is the turtle needs space. So if you're dealing with someone who's like a turtle who's like head in my shell, uh, la 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 la, like that person needs space. If you're dealing with somebody who's a maximizer, who's a tiger, like they need to know that you have their back. So typically when someone's like, ah, freaking out like that, what they usually need is somebody who's just going to say like, Hey, what can I, what can I do for you? Like, let me know how I can help. Or even just saying like, let me get this for you. Let me take care of this. It's like, ah, oh, thank you so much. And so when we either feel like we have the space that we need, like the time, the physical space to kind of process things like the turtle, or whether we need to feel like someone has our back, like each, each kind of wiring has a need. And when that need gets met, then the turtle sticks their neck out of the shell and the tiger like chills out. And when we get into that better state, that healthier state, that calmer, safer state, we can be creative, we can be innovative, we can be collaborative and we can connect more effectively. So apply that to your workplace. Think about which of those resonates with you and align yourself with somebody who's complimentary. And see if you're the tiger, if you can partner with somebody who's more of the turtle, who can kind of help you think and process things before you just blurt them out and regret them later. Or if you're the turtle that you would partner up with a tiger who can help kind of draw you out of your shell and, and help you really find and use your voice. I hope this video is helpful today. I hope, you give, I hope it gives you some perspective about why you may be having certain challenging dynamics in your romantic relationships, in your work relationships, maybe even with your kids and share this with anyone that you think would find it valuable. Thanks so much for checking this out guys and I'll see you on the next video.